Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pen Rambling. Today we're going to do a little bit of experiment with a product that I found at Daiso. So I found, I saw this at Daiso and I say, right, we can do something of an experiment for this week, um, Pen Rambling. Okay. Trying to, okay, so it says here Daiso made in Japan. And I know that this is Mizuni and then Daijovu this. So it says here, hang on. Okay. Okay, waterproof, waterproof uh, memo pad, 80 sheets, water resistant paper. And it says this waterproof memo pad can be used even if it gets wet. On rainy day, you can use it for outdoor without worrying about water damage, which we're going to try later on. Um, so it says it's made in Japan, and here is the product features. It says waterproof memo pad can be used even if it gets wet. It's not made from wood pulp, which is interesting. And the main raw material is derived from limestones. It gives excellence or uh, resistance to water. Hmm, very good. Okay, so and then it says here for the caution. Um, can you see that? Okay, because because the material used is for this is primarily. Limestone, it may feel as though the tip of the pen is catching on the surface a little compared writing on a copier paper or other regular paper. Recommend using a pen with oil based ink or a pencil. So, I'm not going to listen to that. We're going to try on all of these products that you see down here. <laughs> I don't think I have oil based because all of mine is pigment ink. This one is Tombow for calligraphy, the two ended one. I forgot what's the name for this one. And then we have a few fountain pens, and then we have this Pentel Pay Touch. Pentel Touch. And then we have gel pen, two types of gel pen, ball pen. This one, this one, and this one. Permanent marker, water white. Uh, sorry, water whiteboard marker, pencil, and then highlighter. We're gonna try all of this, even though this says recommend on using oil-based ink or a pencil. I have not opened this at all. So, where's my scissor? I'm gonna open this. Now they sealed this with the cello tape here, but I'm not going to do something that's very ladylike. I'm going to take it out. Okay, I'm going to throw away this wrapper. So the design I got was this one. I'm going to insert a, a picture that they have with another design. Okay, so it says it made from line derived from limestone so the first few of this paper i'm going to rip one off can you see this as i'm trying to rip it off it did kind of like hold on let's try tearing it with a hand it's very plastic light as you can see and then only it tears apart now maybe you can hear I'm going to put it near to my mic. Okay. It feels like if you ever held a sandpaper with the grid 2000 and above, it does feel a little bit like that. Okay, it's not smooth. If you feel it first time, you will feel that this is the cheaper type of paper that is a little bit rough. Especially from paper that is made in China. Okay, it's almost it has that feeling at all. And then I'm gonna cut a slit here. Okay, and then can you see that it is a resistant. 
as if it has a coating, a plastic coating on the top. Okay, can you see that? I wonder if I can make it slow. So that is the texture, the feel of this paper. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to try first. While it is still dry, we're going to try with all of this pepper. Ah, sorry, pen. This might not be showing up well because, wait, I might as well use this one. Okay, so this one, gel, this is a gel, ball, ball pen, highlighter, permanent marker, pencil, whiteboard marker. Um, this is the non-water resistant ink. This is non-water resistant ink from Sailor. I think it is uh, gentle black. This is Oxford Diamond. I have Oxford Soboku, so this one will be the pigment ink. This one will be Pentel Touch. I think that's what it's called. I have Waterman Audacity Audacious Red in here. I forgot what's the name for this pen, but it is uh, water-based. And I have Pilot Red Lettering Pen for calligraphy. And I think this one is also water-based. I think so. If I made a mistake, I will put something here. So let's try with when it's dry first. And I'll try to tell you what is the texture. So the ink. Can you see that? Okay, it does right. I'm going to put here jelly roll. Um, it does feel a little bit rougher, but then again, I don't use this one much. Okay, next, this one will be um, gel ink from. I think this one is from, oh yeah, Faber Castell. Okay, Faber Castell gel ink um we'll try two color from this uh pilot Do dr grip the first color will be the green so this is pilot dr grip and then let's try with black this one is also pilot now this one right hmm like a normal paper and then highlighter um yeah color is okay so i'm not going to write this one highlighter and next um this is Permanent marker from Supreme Artline. Okay, so permanent marker. Let's see how many pages we need. To, sorry, how many sheets of paper we need to try on this. Okay, so this is from Faber Castell, four B paper, four uh, B pencil. I know we can try usual pen. So this will be pencil. And then whiteboard marker. Whiteboard. All right, so this is my custom mix ink, but it is a non-water resistant ink. Right, okay, but it doesn't show the this is a 1.1 stub, but it doesn't show the stub. If you look closer, let me see if I can zoom you in. You see that it kind of like pull, pulling, pull up, and it's not, it's not actually on the absorb into the paper. So, this will be the custom ink. Can you see that it is not showing the 1.1 stub? 
char character. I'm going to put it dry, too dry, so that we have fair chance. Now, hang on. So this is Tomoe River 68 GSM. Okay. Okay, we exclude this one since it doesn't want to write. But this is how stop should look like. Okay. Can you see the different? Okay, it's not showing much of a stub on this notepad. Okay, um, let's move on. Since the, I'll exclude that one. Now this one will be Diamine Oxford. Okay, I'm gonna tear this one up so that I can use another page for another line. Can you see how resistant this is? It's kind of like plastic paper tearing apart. Okay, next I have Sailor Soboku. It is not quite right wanting to write anything with water-based ink, sort of. This one will be the Pentel Touch. This one will be the one that is for calligraphy where the tip is actually quite flexible. The color is in grey. I have this one. Um, this is the Waterman. Okay. Can you see that it is not wanting to write? Not wanting to write. I mean, the ink and the paper doesn't want to bond, as suggested by the description on the packaging. Okay, so this is the tombow. No idea what this ink is. Okay, so this is the tombow. Those who are into art, I think you saw this one before. Okay, the last one will be the calligraphy. Whoa. Is this is this oil based? No. Okay, so <clears throat> what's the name for this one? Lettering pen. This pen and this paper seem to be doing great together okay i'll show you how it's supposed to look like on okay this is tomo river can you see that the black of these two is quite different this is more like a charcoal gray this is like a black interesting all right let's tour one apart i'm going to do again because the experiment that I want to do is um, one with a drop of water. The other one is while well, it this is wet. Okay, while well, this is wet. So I'm going to tell true apart because it says it should be able to write when it is wet. Number one is while well, it's dry. Okay, while well, it's dry. We're going to put some paper, uh, sorry, water on this one. I'm going to let this one dry a bit longer. Okay, let's try with this one. Let's try with spray first, see how it does. Can you see that? I'm going to use tissue to blot it away. See if any of it's still left. Okay, 
this is after being blot. Hmm. Jelly roll, the silver seems to be faded away. Um, the gel, the gel pen seems to be doing okay. Ball pen, okay. Permanent, okay. Pacer, okay. Oxford is not doing well. Neither is the. This too is the fountain pen ink, so it's not doing well. Whiteboard, um. Whiteboard marker still doing okay. Highlighter still doing okay. Now next one is, what happened if we do write this one? So this is wet. Seems like because of the initial one, the initial spray that we did just now, the color that is already faded away is only left with like this. I'm going to remove the water so that you can see what is left. So jelly roll is no longer normal jelly roll. Um, this was the fiber castle gel ink, ball pen, highlighter, permanent pencil, water, sorry, whiteboard seems to be doing okay. The custom ink that I have, this one seems to be mixed with one of the permanent ink, I think. And then the Oxford still left with a little bit of traces. Interesting. Now let's try with the other second part. Hang on, let me dry this one first so it's a little bit fair. Alright, let's try with the spray first. And let's wipe dry. Oops. Okay, can you see it? Huh. From the spray, the touch pantel is no longer. It's already faded. The waterman, because it's not waterproof, seems to be gone. The tombow, I think that is the water base, gone. Lettering pen also faded a little. Now let's try when we try to wet this with more water drenched. Hmm. All right, so let's remove this water. So, so Boku seems to be doing okay. Touch, um, audis audacious red. The two line from the tombow seems to be gone. Lettering pen still still doing all right. So conclusion from this first part of the experiment. I think I should put it like this. Ball pen seems to be doing okay, highlighter okay, permanent and whiteboard marker seems to be doing okay, pencils is doing well. Non-waterproof ink is non-waterproof for this paper. And then pigment ink seems to be doing okay because this one is also pigment. Yep, where was the pigment? Pigment, pigment, where are you? Yeah. I'm not sure you can see that because... It is yellow in color. Right, so first part of the experiment, write them dry and then we wet the paper. The paper is doing fine. Okay, the paper is doing fine. It's still intact. It's not tearing apart. Let's try to rub them. Okay. 
it is quite there. Right, so this is the first part of the experiment. It's going to be a long video. Now the second part of the experiment will be wetting this paper and then let's try to write it which I highly doubt anything will survive okay so I'm gonna wet this paper as much as I can okay and then I'm gonna bring in So that we can write peacefully. Can this background? We are not going to. Okay, because this is my leather leather bag. Okay, let's make it as dry as possible. Okay, we're gonna bring in the wet paper. While it's still wet, I'm gonna zoom you in. Did I zoom too much? Okay. I'm going to zoom you in. Let's see what ink. Put it a little bit, little bit drier. Still wet from the back. Let's try which, which pen can be written. Since I don't have oil-based ink, I cannot experiment with that. Jelly roll. It does right. Gel ink. Baba castle. You see that it feathers. Should I bring you closer? Cool. Okay. Let's try with ball pen. Okay, ball pen. Another ink. Okay, ball pen. Writable. Does it stay? It will be one question. Writable. Highlighter. Next will be permanent marker. Writable but it's not as vibrant as it was dried okay. pencil definitely writable as suggest but does it rub off will be another thing okay so this will be my custom ink definitely not writable okay let's put this one apart Oh, sorry, aside. I'm going to put it to the side. Okay, now I bring the other one. Since we did need two paper, let's dab it dry. Not dry, I mean, so that it's not pull out with water. Can you see that? Okay, so where was I? Okay. Uh, this one is Oxford and definitely not writable so buku uh, doing better than Oxford and custom which you're going to see later on alright this is the touch Oh, did I miss? Wait. Okay. This is the Waterman ink. This will be the Tombow. I missed the whiteboard marker. <coughs> Sorry. Pilot lettering. 
hand. The last one which I missed earlier, the whiteboard marker. Okay, let me zoom you out. Sorry. Okay. Now, this is rot when the paper is wet. Should we do it the depth? Let's do the one layer depth. Let's dab them dry, which we'll tend to do. Hi. Um, so this is what you get. So the surface seems to be dry, although there's water behind the paper. Jelly roll, writable, but you won't be able to see much. Faber Castell, it feathers. Now this is not feathering. What do you call this one? Kind of like. Ball pen, doing well. Highlighter. The writing is not viewable. Permanent marker, can be used. Pencil, as suggest, will be doing okay. The custom ink from the fountain pen, not doing well. The Oxford, you can barely see the, see the word Oxford as well as the two line. Barely. Sobuku is not doing well, but because this is a pigment ink, you can see that it left behind the base of that pigment ink. I really think I should zoom you in. <laughs> So this one is the earlier pencil doing well. The jelly roll, jelly jelly roll seems to be doing well, but the word roll seems to be faded. It's Oxford viewable, but it's not really what you want. So buku because it's a pigment ink, so it left behind the pigment that is the permanent part of that uh, ink. Touch you can see the word touch. You can see the word the line, but it's feathering. Waterman non-waterproof ink seems to be not doing well. Same as Tombow. Pilot lettering faded a little but writable. Not writable, I mean it left behind something. As well as the whiteboard seems to be doing okay. So let's zoom out in a little. Conclusion, well, ball pen seems to be doing well, pencil seems to be doing well. If you do have fountain pen with you and it is the permanent ink, the pigment ink, this one is the pigment, permanent seems to be doing something with left behind, as it should be, seems to be doing okay as well. And if you have whiteboard marker with you, or permanent marker seems to be doing okay as well. So, what is your thought of this experiment? Should I do one more with the oil ink base pen? <laughs> Let me know in your comment section, did you enjoy this experiment? If you do, thumbs up the video so that I know that I'm doing something enjoyable for you all. Uh, take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!